What are some issues you encounter when using footpaths? So being visually impaired and having a guide dog, uh, it's incredibly helpful, but at the same time, when we're walking on the footpath, there are definitely some obstacles that we have to get around. Um, the people leave their wheelie bins kind of in the middle of the footpath, so it's hard for the two of us to get around. Uh, and also sometimes like delivery trucks or even people if they park their cars, if they're visiting somebody, they park it on the footpath. Um, so Ezra and I, um, he, Ezra's my dog, uh, we have to go around, we have to go around them. And sometimes we even have to go into the street to avoid them because that's, that's how he's trained is to, to bring me to the curb, go out into the street and go around. So it's quite dangerous if people do leave things on the footpath and don't leave a clear pathway for Ezra to guide me um, from point A to point B. What advice would you give to people to make footpaths more accessible? Um, definitely don't park on the footpaths. Try to, if you are going to, uh, leave enough space for maybe think about like a buggy going by because that would be the kind of the width of, of a dog and a person. Um, and if you are leaving your wheelie bins, pick one side of the footpath to put them on. So don't put them directly in the middle. Put them either really close to the curb or really close to your house or driveway um, just so we're able to, to get them around. And if you are home and the person does like the the trash or the rubbish people do come by and get them and they tend to leave them in the middle of the footpath try your best to put them back as soon as you can um, that would be that would be really helpful